Here is the Gen V episode 6 ending explained, consisting of major spoilers. Dive into our breakdown and find answers to the cliffhanger ending and its repercussions in the boys' universe. Dr. Cardosa's virus suppresses the abilities of soups, and a higher dosage could infect and even kill them for good. Towards the beginning of episode 6, Dr. Cardosa's virus showed the effects of his virus upon a soup kid. She wasn't able to use her electrical abilities as the virus injected into her body got infused with compound V and dampened her powers. Another attribute of the virus is that it doesn't affect regular humans at all. With Cardosa's virus, Vought could curb and control the abilities of someone like Homelander and other heroes. But Dean Shetty asked Cardosa to increase the dosage of the virus and see what happens. The ending of episode 6 revealed that increasing the dose was enough to kill the soup kid. Seeing the results, Dean Shetty asked Cardosa if he could make it contagious, and the credits began to roll. A contagious virus like that could arm humans against out-of-control soups. Not only would this have huge implications in the next two Gen V episodes, but the ramifications of this virus could also be seen in The Boys Season 4. If it falls into the hands of someone like Billy Butcher, the existence of the entire soup kind could be endangered. Marie, Jordan, Andrew, Emma, Sam, and Kate are now united to take on Dean Shetty and stop her illegal experimentation on soup kids. The bonus trailer for episode 7 teased their efforts to expose Shetty and stop her once and for all. So that's what we'll see from here on out. However, seeing how Dean Shetty uses Cardosa's contagious soup virus against Team Marie will be interesting. The first six episodes of The Boys, Gen V are now streaming on Prime Video. New episodes of the series will be released on the service every Thursday.